Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Fine. Thank you. A long gap uh, for some people. Uh, I think you are a old student, and uh, some other people are uh, very. <coughs> so, uh, for the beginners, uh, those who don't know about myself, my name is Lila Ignatius, and uh, previously, some uh, weeks before, I had done my uh, which class? Governance class. Okay. Governance, and I am the one who takes polity, governance, international relations, and internal security. And apart from that, uh, I'm also wrote two books. I think uh, maybe in the 23 of this month, uh, one book is going to publish with the Pearson and other book is also going to come in March. And other than that, apart from this, I'm also doing some strategic work for the various political party uh, on behalf of my company. And that is the additional duty we are doing here. And um, today we are going to discuss, they need some light, I think. <laughs> Uh, we are going to start the new area, that internal security. Okay. And you people check the syllabus. You received the message yesterday that today is the internal security class. And uh, go through the syllabus that what are the topics we are going to cover in internal security. You just came. You just walk in. <laughs> okay, no worries. Slowly we can. So before going to start, uh, for the beginners, uh, who first time attending my class. In the governance class, I gave some strategy because giving strategy is my duty uh, in order to crack, uh, help the student to crack UPSC in their first attempt. That is the most important thing. Right now, we are also doing uh, personality development. The interview is going to happen. And we are giving some kind of classes and a mock board for uh, interview students. While giving so also, this is the most important thing. Uh, the way how students are appearing for interview board for the past one week in various boards I attended and based on that experience I'm telling that majority of the students just completed their college in 2021 and 2022 and before 20 before COVID whenever I'm seeing some kind of a detailed application from DAF uh, for the interview and I usually see that uh, students from 2015 pass out 14 pass out 13 or even uh, 18 19 something like that. but nowadays Whenever I'm seeing, yesterday I have done two panels and in that I have seen some people like 2021 pass out and 2022 pass out. And these people are appearing for interview. Just they have completed their graduation, BA history or BA honors or BSc mathematics. On the basis of that, uh, I can have some kind of confidence that the way how youngsters nowadays it is not a thing like that, okay, what generally people will say, UPSC means Unpredictable Service Commission. It is not a Union Public Service Commission, Unpredictable Service Commission. So always it will take a lot of time. You have to first year, you have to read your static area. Then second year, please, you have to do so-and-so, so-and-so. It is not like that. Just the moment you are completing your graduation, people are appearing for interview. You are getting your graduation from your colleges. Simultaneously, you are appearing for interview. And the same year itself, people are cracking. So this is the right trend. And this is the right way. I think majority of the people last class also I asked. And they are in their first year, second year, third year like that. So whenever you are going to go for the final year, the same year you can able to get ready for your preliminary. And when you are getting your convocation, the same way you can able to appear for your interview on the basis of that. The same year you can able to crack UPSC and go to Missouri. And at the age of 21, 22, you can really enjoy the weather of Missouri. And uh, after that, the government will take you and uh, no need to take your ATM. Everything, government expenditure, not your father's expenditure or something like that. Good. So now, the strategy to crack UPSC. Uh, for some other people, I already discussed. For the beginner, newcomer, the first time people only I'm talking. And the year-based classification. Every year, this is a strategy I'm saying. Almost for the past 14 years, we are teaching. And every year, I am giving this strategy. And some people will take it very seriously and do the things. And you can take 2022, 21, 18, 14, 10, something like that for the past 15, 20 years question. You will always find minimum five, maximum 34 questions. Every year in preliminary, appearing in this strategy, year-based classification. And second important thing, minimum 20, maximum 49 questions. 
from current affairs. One side current affairs 20 to 49 question. Another side the year based classification, 10th year completion, some topic appear uh, in UPSC or 15th year, 10th year, 20, 100, 75, golden jubilee, silver jubilee. Like that manner, what you are reading in your new question papers or what you are reading in your textbook, like polity, history, textbook, NCRT, or what the teachers are discussing about some topics. So in those area only, you have to see the classification, not taking Google Baba and put, okay, what are the 100 year celebrations are there in the entire planet? And don't do that one because a lot of information will come. Restrict yourself within the limit of your syllabus, UPSC syllabus. Okay. And based on that, you can able to get minimum, minimum 10, 20 questions. And uh, the way how you are going to handle, which year you are going to give, for example, you are going to give 2024. So you have to start preparing from 23, at least June, July, current affairs wise. Then go till your preliminary, then go till your mains and interview all the current affairs related to things. 25 minimum questions will be there every year. You can check and uh, on the basis of that, uh, some number of questions. Then the person who simply attended the class, whether he slept inside the class or very aware inside the class, whatever it may be. At least you hear something now, polity, what is constitution, what is history, and what is um, uh, how the way the Babur or Akbar or something like this. Something you heard in geography, history, economy, based on that, Minimum two, maximum five questions. Out of 17 questions from polity, at least two questions, anyone you give to your sister or brother, they will answer this question. Who completed till 12th standard can able to answer. Two to three, two to three, two to three. Five or seven subject. And approximately you can able to score 20, 25. And cutoff for writing mains examination is 43 to 48 or 50 questions only. Not like in our college, like 50, 100 out of 100 is not like this. 43 questions correct or 48 questions correct irrespective of the category. Okay, so easily you can able to, from your first attempt itself, you can able to go to the next level, mains examination. Mains, once you crack preliminary, you just, I will give some personal things, how to crack mains, uh, the vocabulary you have to use in every subject, uh, some kind of keywords I will give one to one, not through online mode uh, or recording session, I will personally give. And based on that, UPSC will also have the same key at the time of the correction. You can manage on the basis of that. Uh, you can go for interview just to go and say hi by 80 mark will be assured. Okay, I'm not interested to talk with you people. I'm going out 80, 60 mark is the way how you are interacting. Based on that, 60 will go to 12, 120, 150, 160, 180, 190, something like that. On the basis of that, you can be a IAS officer in Jammu Kashmir or Uttarakhand or in your home state or somewhere inside Andaman and Nikabara Lakshadivu waiting for tsunami or something like that, always. So these are the ideas based on one single mark, two mark, you will be in service permanently or you are going for the extra preliminary, just one mark, a lot of things are there. So you keep this strategy, already told about the year-based classification, I people, you people are doing, and you people also send so many answers, it also, I'm also checking, nowadays whenever I'm getting tired or something like that, I will take my man's mobile phone and I'll see how the way students are answering ethics, Okay, based on that, I'm having a very positive vibration about this batch because a lot of answers are keep on sending. Okay, we will also cross check that, okay, how she did and how I am going to analyze that in terms of good governance or uh, uh, public administration or political science point of view. Like this manner, we can able to go for, and I'm also getting a positive vibration here. And a lot of, even New Year Day also, we received a lot of questions. Okay, people are writing, okay, don't enjoy your holidays, uh, go and do the corrections. I we usually also fight that at least give some time for me. You are always uh, uh, checking your answers, but not bothering about the breakfast or dinner or something like that. So these are one side. But this is a good idea because you can able to, I think there are a lot of colleges we usually go for. And uh, the people who appeared from there, and this year right now, they are in first and second attempt itself. Even one of my student uh, somewhere around the SRCC college or something like that. He was the first to physically challenge a completely blind who became IAS officer in his second attempt. And his, her, his classmate, that girl became IAS officer. Right now she is in Himachal Pradesh, enjoying a Manali climate. Okay, as a, a, a SDM or something like that. All the things are possible. Those are having the conviction that I am here and I'm also doing my college. And both that is different, just uh, appearing college in 45, 50 percentage, anyone can able to get. No need to worry much about, but focusing more on UPSC 
and no one is going to ask how much percentage you got it in your college 90 percentage okay come you are giving special seat in your upsc not like that just a degree and go to upsc and can able to excel in there on the basis of that you can able to go to the next level in your life okay good like that manner your preparation should be now and uh, as a part of this internal security i think uh, you might be I have some kind of idea about my way of teaching in governance class. Okay, certain things you have to write. Suppose if I'm taking polity or environment or something like that, these are purely preliminary areas. There we can able to keep a big PPT here and discuss about it on the basis of that. At the end of the session, we will forward the PPT. You can also go to like that manner we can. But subject like internal security or governance or ethics or world history, you have to write. Okay, that practice will help you at the time of your mains exam. And you can also able to remember certain things properly based on your handwritten rather than some kind of a Xerox copy you are having. Okay, like. So what do you know about security of the nation? Even it was the time of Manmogan Singh, the first time proposed to DU also, that DU need to start a BA course related to internal security. Internal security. So like this, man, a lot of things are happening in and around the country. You all are secured in the, in the class. Why you people always want to sit in the middle in order to keep some people left and right? So based on your personality as a behavioral educationist, I can able to analyze something that you may be an introvert for some time, psychologically. Or uh, that is the only seat available when you came, so you said. That is an another perspective. Or other perspective, whenever I'm missing some point here and there, so I don't need to ask the teacher, left side one person, okay, right side one person, okay. I can able to see two person and my mind without missing A, B, C, D, I can able to complete the class. Lot of things are there. So this is the most important thing. The perspectives are there on the basis of that maybe you are an introvert or you want to have some kind of warm uh, atmosphere around you during winter time. So you are sitting in the middle of the people. So both sides, some kind of heat emission. Scientifically, I can able to prove certain things. And the way how you people are singing, you people are dancing, you are feeling more comfortable during celebrations. And some people will say that I am listening music. Some people will say that I am uh, singing is my hobby. Past two days, we are keep on thinking about so many hobbies of various students in interview. So the moment you are singing and dancing, what kind of things you are going to get? A simple question I want to ask before going to start the subject. Ice break, you can remember like that. Ah. Anybody is having the hobby that singing or listening music? Or you all will listen music now? Ah. Anybody hate music? Uh, no one wants to hate. Okay, at least you people. Are. Okay. Uh, the moment you are uh, listening music, is there any biological reactions that are happening in your body? Not sometimes, always. That is proven as per the science. I'm not uh, talking in terms of philosophical way. It is proven in science. Dopamine, you hear? It's a very popular enzyme or it is a neutral substance. The moment you started listening music, automatically based on the happiness, there is a area, the Oedipus area of your brain will open. That will produce an enzyme, hormone like uh, dopamine. On the basis of that, uh, automatically you may have some kind of uh, body reactions. Nowadays, music are used by Western countries as a drug. Drugs. Instead of drugs, they are inducing dopamine in our body. On the basis of that, they are keeping people in particular category and addiction, addiction, and you will always go to the particular restaurant. You won't go to other restaurant. This restaurant will fill with people, lot of money, money, money. They will become rich. You will become poor. A normal sentence. Okay, these are the things, the signs. So the main part is that you are feeling very secure inside the society. Yes, sir, no? You all are feel very secure in your colleges along with your friends. Yes, sir. No, or still you are feeling somewhat awkward or something like that. Insecure feeling. Anyone having in the class? No. But if you are going for a party, New Year party, you will feel very secure. Maybe with your friends. But if their friends left for some other emergency, you are all alone in the party. Will you feel secure? 
So this is the most important thing. Uh, like the way Mr. Mohandas Karamsan Gandhi also talked about various things. He even he give ultimate importance to the idea of uh, Swachh Bharat. He usually give. I ready to wait for another decade. Forty seven. No need to wait. No need to give independence. You can give fifty seven also. But uh, I can wait for independence, but not for the concept regarding sanitation. That is the way Gandhi ends. And the way how Gandhi also tells that whenever I am going to see a woman with a lot of ornament, gold and other various jewels, when she is walking on the roads of India, inside India, anywhere inside the country, without any fear, that time only I can able to realize that the country is properly in the hands of good people and everybody inside the society in a secure manner. So security is the very most important thing. And the country's security, internal security is not an ordinary job. This is an extraordinary job. We, the people of India, is living happily inside this place. But a lot of people are working behind the screen or in front uh, on the border area. On the basis of that, we are celebrating Holi or Christmas or New Year or Diwali or other various festivals, etc., etc. But other side, we don't know exactly. The way how people really sacrifice. There are 23 agencies are existing inside our country. We know only Ra, people, some people want to, some people want to go for IB, Intelligence Bureau. But apart from that, there are other 21 agencies also existing in order to taking care of the security of the nation, internal security, external security. On the basis of the only we, the people of India, are living very happily and peacefully inside. When Sastriya Simabal or border security force is going for celebration on the New Year week, or what will happen to the security? The Pakistan army are infiltrated, may enter into India, and they will reach to the well of the democracy, like Parliament of India, or like Mumbai incident. So many things you might be heard in your past history. If Assam rifle is taking rest on the Indo Myanmar border, the Pemberton line, then automatically some infiltrators, some Rohingyas may enter into northeastern states in order to steal the economic and other various activities of uh, uh, the northeastern community. Or a migrant from Bangladesh, if BSF go, going for holiday or a strike or rest, then definitely the Bang Bangladeshi migrants will enter into the northern plane and northeastern plane in order to create some kind of law and order issue or the stealing employment and other various resources inside those areas. So this is very necessary. Taking care of country's internal security is not an easy job. It is an extraordinary thing. That is a topic only we are going through. And I, within this internal security, first I need to focus on <coughs> sorry, certain areas like the that is a syllabus I am discussing as per UPSC. The linkages of left-wing extremism. The way how the spread and linkages and various other linkages of left-wing extremism and insurgency inside our country. That is the first topic. And apart from that, second, we have to discuss about border management, social and other various media regarding security, cyber security, and money laundering, and uh, some more concept like uh, the role and mandate of various security agencies inside our country. These are the various topics. And uh, every year, you can able to see in the mains examination, surely five questions will be there in our paper three. Five questions. We don't know. After completing Lakshmi Kant, I will say, okay, Lakshmi Kant, how many pages approximately? Approximately. Anyone is having Lakshmi Kant in your home or somewhere? Has seen Lakshmi Kant? Okay. How many pages? Approximately, you have to say. Uh, 1500 around, 1400 around. Uh, some people are using as a, a neck pain reliever sometimes. You can keep it here around that. You can take some nap also. Like that manner. This much book, this much. Every year the sizes keep on. And how many questions from there? In your mains examination? Two, one, three. For the entire polity, including current affairs, five, four, six. And the topic like internal security, the way what I'm going to discuss, you just update. You will find exactly question at the time of your mains examination. You can check for the past 10 year, 15 year question also. This is the way the UPS is also asking. Surely 5 into 12.5, 75 mark or minimum 50 mark, 5 into 10 mark, 50 mark is assured. Even after completing ethics entire paper, we don't know how many questions, are, not how many, 250 marks you are going to write. Uh, 250 marks you are going to write. 
but in my part polity after completing i can able to assure that but in in terms of international relations i can able to say question number 9 and 10 19 and 20 every year 12.5 this much mark will be there in our mains examination 9 and 10 19 and 20 paper 2 in the same way internal security we can so this is called a smart work like the person who has going to give his eighth attempt 10th attempt first attempt in what basis we are going to keep the scientific scaling that you are first attempt and i am my, my this my 10th attempt what kind of right to equality article 14 and 15 we are practicing here after my five years of experience i may excel in history polity economy i have to only update current affairs and you are just entering from your college and what kind of equality the subject you are selecting the question the topics you are selecting like international relations governance internal security and some part of case studies of ethics all are equal only there only you can able to see the big difference between good mark and right mark okay kind of answer so there you have to focus beginners you have to focus this area surely you will get minimum five questions luck permits some question also like disaster management also will come into so one question additionally so six or seven question every year you will get at the time of your mains so those areas you have to select okay after lakshmi can two question or one question or no question but after internal security minimum five questions. five into twelve point five okay good so now the first topic is that when i when i want to discuss about the ideas of internal security the most important thing is that the left wing extremism or insurgency in this way one question regularly every year take 2022 you will find one question okay so the topic as per the syllabus of upsc the spread of left wing extremism so what kind of idea you people are having about left wing extremism anybody from jnu because nowadays they, they created a story like this in everybody's mind the moment i am saying jnu people are laughing in internal security classes because they are thinking that jnu is having some connection with the left wing extremism or banaras hindu university is having some connection with the right wing extremism people are having connection of opinion not i am saying people are having opinion okay now it is online mode we, we should be teachers are really very should be very careful a single word you are using now, then their entire career will into the question mark. Okay, the way things are happening. Anyhow, good one side. <coughs> so now, what are the ideas you are having in your mind related to the concept of left wing extremism? Have you done something related to history? You have done, and till which area you have covered in history? Ah, yes, please. History, modern history, you have done something? Yes? Uh, exactly in which area you are there? Left wing. Okay. In favor of country. Okay. Conservatives. They are very conservative. Right is like BJP. Conservatives. And left, who is the left in India right now? Congress is the leftist. Okay, okay. As per your opinion, you are saying, okay, it's not right or wrong. It's not my opinion. You are only saying, okay, good. Uh, any other opinion? Communist or uh, leftist? Generally, this is a common scenario. Communists are leftist, and those who are supporting the ideas of socialism or capitalism will come under the category of rightist, uh, nationalist, whatever the term if you want. Okay. But the most important thing, when the moment we are talking about the ideas of extremism, as per the knowledge of history, you might be aware of these things, the way how the evolution of the origin of the Congress, it was in 1885. Yes or no? Uh, no doubt in that, no. Uh, 1885 only. The formation of Indian National Congress came into exist. Okay. And uh, from the way they started their life as an ordinary people, moderate, I can able to say. What is their agenda for Congress at the time of 1880s? Pray, plead, petition ppp model they have to pray before the british government give the petition to the british governor and uh, plead pray plead petition things will be done and once the uh, people like uh, gokhale bala gangadhar tilak kind of people came into exist on the basis of that uh, the idea of moderate slowly moved into the idea of extremism or simple way pray plead petition you moved into the category of moderate 
okay if you are not uh, doing anything for us we won't pay tax no tax without representation this was an idea launched by mr tilak bg tilak okay little moderate and some people not satisfied with the moderate ideals also why you are mendicate be begging before british people you have to go into the level okay they are not giving representation take one bomb throw inside uh, wherever the governor or governor general goes let them die we will have some happiness as per ethics happiness are having different verses okay uh, in 2014 15 first question is that what is happiness from your point of view so this is the idea so these people moderate okay they want to uh, in agitated manner okay if you are not doing anything we will stop everything through hartal strike okay if you are not doing i will throw bomb against you because of the fear you will come and attend the class like that manner so the ideas are keep on change so extremism or left wing extremism is a kind of idea came into exist not only after independence or not only at the time of maoism or other various people it was an idea existing even before india got independent we can have lot of examples 1857 revolt is a peaceful march or is a left uh, extremism kind of idea it's a war you all are accepting 1857 as a first war of independence any objection for this you all are accepting western people are accepting western scholars are accepting 1857 as a first war of independence no no one except to one only one already i discussed in governance class also one time i think whether is here or not hmm. who was the one and only western scholar who accepted 1857 revolt as a first war of india's independence pin drop silent <laughs> silent diplomacy uh, karl marx was the one and only person from the western scholar side who accepted 1857 as a first war of independence the way he wrote a book 1857 the first war of independence you can check only das capital you know very well about karl marx you won't go beyond bourgeois and proletariat that is the only concept you know about karl marx but karl marx also wrote a book about india in terms of 1857 the first war of independence that was the only one western scholar who openly accepted 1857 as a first war of independence so this is the way the concept of extremism against the british raj and some people sanyasi rebellion santal rebellion indigo revolt and other various revolt also happen inside our country in various way it is also a kind of extremism and the moment india got independence around 1947 the telangana movement tebaka movement these are another two popular extremist movement against the indian government after independence came into existence that is the beginning against the indian government telangana and tebaka movement and the main idea regarding these people is that land land related issues because when i am talking about from the beginning of the civilization to till now generally people will have conflict why india is having conflict with the china in what basis land only they want to capture arunachal pradesh we want to take it accession back or ladakh in a complete way or one day uh, the aganda bharat we want to achieve okay including pakistan and afghanistan or some part of pok at least should be there inside india including sri lanka we want to add as a part of uh, southern part of india aganda bharat one idea some people are proposing and india is also every military is also having that kind of mindset that okay extra one land extra one territory extra one territory so we they can able to keep on inching towards china china can able to inching towards india one day fine morning china will come and say tawang is my territory only okay already asked by upsc also tawang tawang district have you ever heard uh recently in history wise because recently you are seeing current affairs they, there won't be any direct question 50% direct question 50% allied questions tawang is the place where the i think one of the dalai lama's birth place is there in tawang monastery world highest altitude buddhist monastery is existing in tawang district tawang monastery okay so like this manner china may try so occupying land land related issue some ag- grievances against land this is the way the things happen the moment the human settlement came to exist in this modern world 
completely on the basis of wandering people roaming here and there and finally they settled in a particular place on the basis of the pastoral community and after that the way how the wanderer moved into a permanent settlement so based on that the land related issues also came into exist and how the way people are holding the land right land related issue only become the problem from the beginning of human civilization onwards and even till today even we are having problem with our neighborhood because in delhi he parked his car before my house on the road only but road also my territory because before my house everything and anything everything belongs to me only i never allowed anyone to park car before my house i will take my gun and try to assassinate as some people killed also just for parking you can able to see second third page of hindu times of india hindu sun you will now and then oh, parking uh, parking prowl or something like that a man killed now he is in tihar jail out of anger go to tihar jail start preparing for upsc also <laughs> sometimes some people things happen like that so this is the most important thing the land and related issues become a very strong and strong on the basis of that after india's independence indian people rose against indian government telangana and tabaka is the best example we can have in our life and the same way the things happen simultaneously india also slowly and steadily developed in various way it was in 1967 a place like naxal bari it is there in west bengal a small village in the name of naxal bari so people in and around naxal bari had lot of problem against the local zamindars landlanders and etc etc so they want to get rid of those kind of people they frequently talked with the administration of the naxal bari and the officers are very busy with making of india or some other process or a china war or other various things so nobody cared about the naxal bari people and naxal bari people's issue became a movement inside our country it slowly and steadily developed throughout the country as per wiki leak the latest data wiki leak you might be hear about this wiki leak na wikipedia you know on the same way a person who took all the information from various government and put it in wiki leak about various america russia all other various countries classified document kept it in trade uh, in the site and so many information came into line in the wikileak as per the document it is saying that except some territories of goa andaman and nikobar and lakshadweep the naxal bari movement was spread everywhere inside our country it occupied in every each and corner because everywhere before 70s we had a problem with the government in the name of land land related issues so it was in 1967 the way how the people like communist party of india marxist and leninist ml so the communist party of india they realize that it is a right time because the communist party of india as a political party came into exist inside our country from the time of 1927 25 in kanpur session they first initiated the idea but from 25 to till 1960s it not achieved a proper ground inside it acted like a political party but not that much even till today where communism exists in our country kerala some part of west bengal some part of tripura and apart from that jnu is the only place you can able to see communist other than that nowhere and very soon maybe it may also remove from the soils of kerala kerala it is not possible it may take some time but uh, tripura already lotus took communism one way so ideas are like this the way how the concept like marxism and communism uh, leninism ml they want to utilize the opportunity that people are agitated against the government it is not only the government agitated against their own landlords the money lenders the zamindars and other various people on the basis of the local issue government refused to give important government congress party otherwise called as a party of zamindars and rich people only that time only the rajas usually join in congress kind of party from the time of 1885 onwards so they refused or they neglected to give important to people's issue so based on that around 1967 the concept like naxal bari movement slowly and steadily started spreading from the village like naxal bari and it spread to enter into the entire india except a few places like andaman and nikobar or lakshadweep or something like that. 
and communist party want to use this opportunity so around 1969 the formation of the communist party of india marxist and leninist also came into existence ml came into existence and from the time of 1969 onwards under the leadership of charu majumdar was a very popular communist leader during the time ml so charu majumdar took the leadership and he started propagating the idea of com uh, the communism in an around naxalbari village area and entire west bengal and neighborhood areas like bihar odisha etc 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 including northeastern states so the government decided to take action against this naxalbari after that only 69 the problem started 67 the naxalbari movement started 69 they formed when there is a revolution there should be a revolutionary party so in that name the communist party of marxist and leninist came into existence and they started getting support from the various people that the adivasis and then the people who lost their land all joined together hands with them and they started uh, doing something against the government of india government almost 3 years later they realized that mistake around 70 71 the government started operation steeple chase that was an idea created by the government of india we know only one thing if anything goes wrong we will suppress the people with the military action a military operation steeple chase done by the indian security forces against indian people inside naxalbari area and they are uh, tried their level best to capture mr charum majumdar and they failed more than 2 years and finally they captured his own village people 300 400 people were arrested by government west bengal police they tortured them finally voluntarily charum majumdar came out and surrendered before the police and they released their village people and within one week a custodial death charum majumdar no more matter of fact steeple chase became successful operation government and all but later the government realized that okay the naxal bari as per our document it is only within naxalism within west bengal but in reality naxalism or naxal bari movement spread everywhere inside the country every each and corner of the country except some territorial uh, island nation or something like that. so the government realized that government started thinking that what way we can able to how we are going to rectify and they realized only police action you can't able to i am forcing you people to not to move your head here and there ask you to sit straight see my eyes always okay and like this man if i am dictating inside the class what you will do one day okay you will be here next day some people will shift to online mode and next to next day in online also i am asking everyone to switch on the camera i want to see your face exactly i want to see your eyes exactly okay some telepathy i want to connect with you all like that man if i am saying that Day, uh, one month later, you will escape from the where uh, Mukherjee Nagar also possibility there. And some people extreme mind. Oh, instead of escaping from him, let us finish him. Escape? Why we need to escape? Let him escape from the world. Like that manner also, you can create some problem against me. Possibilities are there. This is the way the ideas also. How long I can able to use the police force against the, the citizen of the country? in the name of steeple chase or other operation or other operation or other operation government started thinking what is the solution so the best solution is that the way how you are going to engage the idea in terms of uh, the people's movement people's developmental activities based on that only you can able to get the support of the people on the basis of that around 1970s india's first people oriented development scheme in the name of operation burga came into exist inside a west bengal initiated by the west bengal government to strengthen the idea of some kind of developmental activities not operation not military not police just a developmental assistance they want to give to the people of naxalbari and west bengal etc etc that was the first civilian initiatives happen inside our country in the name of operation burga to help poor people in nanda country slowly they proclaimed that no more majumdar no more naxalism we completely get rid of naxalism and around 1980s inside uh, andhra pradesh anybody from andhra pradesh no one is no worries inside andhra pradesh andhra is popular for the land related issues lot of zamindar still even the ysr you heard about this things na 
uh, he just before uh, the chief minister he handed over some 25000 acre land to government of andhra in the recent past okay this much land people are holding entire mountains entire land entire islands river and islands or people are having in india so these kind of people lot of atrocities happen so andhra is a place where the revival of left wing extremism came into exist by the way how a people war group pwg around 1980s started its momentum gaining its momentum under kondapalli chitaramayya he was a very popular leftist leader during the time communist party marxist leninist during the time so he want to revive the naxal bari movement inside this area with the help of the support of the local people land uh, uh, peasant or farmers or etc etc so the people war group around 1980s gain its momentum and slowly and steadily it started spreading but there is a huge difference between this people war group during 1980s and the naxal bari movement during 1960s naxal bari movement want to give their agenda to the government in a peaceful manner naxal bari movement don't want to harm anyone naxalist want to some since their problem should be highlighted to the entire world community but people war group it is not like that they want to reveal the problem of naxalism or uh, andhra pradesh people to everyone apart from this they started kidnapping government officials destroying the government properties started killing people also a violent way naxalism turned into exist around 1980s in the name of people war group under kondapalli sitaramayya there is a huge difference between charu majumdar and kondapalli sitaramayya charu majumdar died because of his people to release his people he came and surrendered but kondapalli sitaramayya under his leadership people started killing people citizens started killing citizens so during that time they don't know how to handle this issue this became violent movement so there was a super cough inside andhra pradesh in the name of ks vyas he was a dgb then andhra pradesh so our government asked him so this fellow created a new yeah, operation like steeple chase operation greyhound around 1980s at the end of 1980s greyhound with the help of a specialized intelligence bureau officers they created some 100 allied police commando so with the help of those assistants they started doing the greyhound operation against this uh, people war group and slowly and steadily three year later four they assassinated uh, kondapalli sitaramayya so many followers of the naxalist and slowly and steadily naxalism people war group also eliminated from the soil of andhra pradesh through operation greyhound then at the beginning end of 1980s at the beginning of 1990s the things are totally different all these things happen the way how the enmity developed between citizens of india in terms of land class struggle but inside bihar there is always a problem between the upper caste and lower caste so in order to get rid of this kind of problem around 1980s end or beginning of 1990s maoist communist center inside bihar came into exist the previous movement are all considered as a class struggle land related issue uh, land holders and workers like this manner landless and zamindars class struggle but this movement is completely different in terms of the upper caste and lower caste on the basis of that it became a caste struggle rather than class struggle and this also completely suppressed with the help of police action so when the beginning of 1990s came into when the concept of liberalization privatization came into and india ready to welcome lpg by the way suppressing all the naxal bari left wing extremist movement and etc etc and india ready to welcome liberalization privatization globalization so corporate will become very happy no no more left extremism in india we will come inside and put our money safely 1990s after that no more but everyone knows the way how the lpg entered into the world community lpg you know na liquefied petroleum gas okay not liberalization privatization globalization 
and after the impact of lpg nobody want to go war with other people because as a company i invested lot of money inside punjab and sindh province of pakistan also and india also if both are fighting my investments are going to get spoiled so as a company reliance i never allow india to have a conflict with the pakistan i never allow india to have a conflict with indonesia and malaysia something like this so companies corporate liberalization privatization but still i want to achieve certain things instead of fighting in the name of war a kind of side effect came into exist inside the society in the name of terrorism this is the most important thing terrorism came into after 1990s terrorism became the most strongest tool in the name of terrorism people started fighting against each other countries started fighting against each other al qaeda was properly with the support of who created al qaeda us only who created uh, taliban with the support of usa who created majority of the organizations in this world usa caa everyone knows so this is the way the things are happening ra also will do certain things okay against a certain group of people then their government will topple the indian specific president will come and relation will maintain properly in say sri lanka pakistan somewhere 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 this is a duty of every agency okay so based on this the terrorism become the strongest one so in order to avoid in order to support the lpg the world of political scenario got changed so around 2004 by the combination of this maoist communist center aligned with the people war group they both combined together and after that around 2004 a communist party of india in the name of maoism came into existence in 2004 and the followers of the cpim become maoist they are not come from other outside of the country they are the citizens of india you can able to differentiate okay who is maoist who is you can able to differentiate who is pakistan terrorist and indian citizen but you can't able to differentiate indian maoist or other various people all are indian only and indian government is having a policy indian army should not used against indian citizen this is a policy of the government of india so by using this opportunity with the support of china maoism slowly and steadily spread everywhere inside the country and as per the 12th planning commission report and some international intelligence agency report around 2014 around uh, as per the 12th planning commission out of 610 official districts inside our country 289 districts got completely infected with the help of maoism and 12 states inside our country also got infected with the help of maoism maoism became the greatest challenge in 2009 mr manmohan singh when he is hoisting the national flag on independence day he said it is not china it is not pakistan maoists are the greatest threat for india security so from that time onwards when i'm talking about left wing extremism it is completely turned into the category of action against maoism and 2004 onwards the government also very lately only they reacted towards so after 2010 around indian government started some kind of operation green hunt with the help of a elite forces was created by indian government in the name of cobra combat battalion resolute action force cobra combat battalion resolute action force cobra force came into exist and the cobra forces started hunting more than five states in the name of operation green hand and even till today and as per the data released by mr amit sah home minister in the recent past just before uh, some elections happened na uh, state election so as per the data the government is saying that we are under the control of everything so out of 289 it was in manmohan singh period and under amitra's period they are saying that out of 610 official district it was 30 to 40 district only infected with the help of mao we completely get rid of mao east okay it's a data government is saying then you have to believe it there's no other choice you can also use it at the time of examination so left wing extremism under the control so this is the way you have to talk about left wing extremism so one side so questions will also appear in this side there is an another side a left wing extremism from the beginning of independence to till date in terms of insurgency inside north eastern states that is an another problematic thing insurgency inside north eastern states 
when i'm seeing the diversified nature of north eastern community this is the most important thing generally the problem is that one it is always it is always we are having certain provision for north eastern state in the name of fifth schedule and sixth schedule in order to preserve their cultural identity it is also called in the name of inner line permit letter ipl you might be aware of this thing inner line permit letter if you want to go to haryana will you ask permission to anyone except your father and mother or boyfriend or girlfriend some tell you have to ask permission na you can't able to go in indian society still a patriarchal society only even though you are a so and so you have to ask permission from your father or husband okay without permission anyone can able to go anywhere is it possible i don't know because i don't know about your generation i'm talking about my generation uh, it may be a patriarchy yeah. hmm? without permission will you go anywhere no is impossible but without government permission you can able to travel in said article 19 right to move but reasonable restrictions when i'm going to north eastern state to protect the culture and diversity nature of them inner line permit when i'm going to andaman and nicobar okay some inner line permit even if you are going without inner line permit they will take your head and keep it before their head they are head confirm the centennials they don't want to associate with indians they are still thinking that they are the negrotoids community such a long time 20000 years they are in isolation they don't want any indians they don't want any foreigners they are having xenophobia so whenever they are saying for you okay this is a good meat let us have the head have the flesh night dinner i don't know exactly but head will be there before the sea area host even that uh, after tsunami indian army want to help them and they put their sp- uh, sparrow and arrow towards indian helicopters and government is okay let us live peacefully like that man so this is the way the inner line permit and in insurgency in say north eastern states are having a different thing because when i'm seeing the north eastern culture and community they are having some kind of problem within them in the name of assam and manipur i think it never and ever happen in say the country a state police fired and killed another state police it ever have happened punjab police killed haryana police maybe over drunk uh, something like boost something like you can able to you can you can kill your own prime minister also that is different but killing based on enmity between two states one police fired against another police never and never happen one side and there is an another problem when the prime minister of india want to have a strong mind that the rohingya should not come inside india the manipur chief minister wrote a letter to the prime minister that we are ready to welcome them because certain it is not only rohingyas certain other communities are there the tribal community and that particular tribal communities are having some affinity and some brotherhood with the, the manipur and around that area so let us welcome our old brother by the way of keeping a special camp for them prime minister is saying one thing no we won't welcome anyone and uh, manipur chief minister is writing a letter to prime minister that we are ready to welcome them and within the north eastern states some people are having some idea in the name of greater nahalil anyone you from nagaland okay greater nahalim one of my friend is there right now as a home secretary whenever we are visiting his farm they usually send some kind of hammer because within north eastern state within nagaland i thought it is india only then why i need security but they are saying no no it is not there is a proper i think so they will also collect taxes you will also indian government will also collect taxes nagaland government will also collect taxes okay and they are also having their own army indian police also existing you have to pay everything for your own security since he is a home secretary i thought okay with the, okay with the home secretary also need safety so better you go use my hammer and go everywhere pay the money whoever is asking safely enjoy the nagaland trip come back to delhi this is also india and the greater nagalim in the name of greater nagalim they want to take a territory from okay assam some part manipur meghalaya okay everything is fine we can able to do politically but where, how i can able to take a territory from myanmar as a part of greater nagalim then it will create any enmity between two countries but india signed this agreement modi signed this agreement and they said okay historical greater nagalim we signed it with the naga group and when opposition party asked please tell what kind of history no 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 i won't say to anyone it's a historical pact secret pact we won't tell to anyone government closed it back but still a diversifications are existing in say north eastern state on the basis of that some kind of tribal immunity ethnic enmity or even if i am going to manipur every manipur village is having their own dialect thousand dialects are existing it is not only in terms of one language dialects are there thousand dialects different different community 
and when i'm going to the nagaland the official language is english government la official language is english is there any other state other than nagaland is having official language when amisa want to get it of english they want to introduce uh, hindi medium in uh, mbbs and etc etc just to uh, translate a uh, english word in hindi do for mine in hindi also do for mine only you have to promote a equal and varna stethoscope not in hindi also stethoscope you should there is a word yes fine good so kind of things are happening in in our country and even now the people inside the northern plain is also saying in a different way that if it is goes like this then india cannot be able to bring sundar piche kind of people are also pepsi new year also something like that so indian ceos rate will also go to, that is different story but anyhow the concept like the insurgency is a most important problem and northeastern states is having diversified nature on the basis of that the clan enmity class enmity struggle in terms of a language dialect other various things also happening on the basis of that the insurgent some group bodo group want to have their own autonomous and naga group want to have their own autonomous previous they want to go for a separate country now they settled within the category of at least a greater autonomy a special status like jammu kashmir some kind of things isaac muwa group after the death of uh, mr isaac now i think somewhat ss kaplan he was silenced with the help of the surgical strike indian government done under mr moti ji and they eliminated him india only created ss kaplan later they threat against india so we finish that matter so like this when a lot of insurgency related things and that may be a separate question i think more than three times upsc asked those question insurgency left wing extremism in terms of insurgency in say north east so these are all the possible methods we have to discuss and apart from this okay one side is the factorial things and other histories now how we are going to get rid of how we can able to resolve this problem can you able to suggest something i want to listen your valuable feedback some sweet voice uh, without local people without your support i can't run the class uh uh gain the trust okay very good gain the trust local people support uh uh their demand is 100 rupees and your demand is only i will give 10 rupees 10 to 100 okay let us uh, finish it in 11 rupees from government's point of view you say you sacrifice 99 rupees and i will sacrifice 1 rupee we'll settle the issue in favor of north eastern community are maoist that is where the governments are taking stand okay then you middle way they are saying that solution but other than police action other than operation other than exercise other than so on so on so is there any other way only developmental activities we need to strengthen people's participation people's involvement what kind of development what is the idea for example in terms of handling naxalism you might be aware of this thing some weeks before it also appeared in newspaper a surrender come rehabilitation scheme initiated by various government come with the arms and ammunition and give the track record you have killed this much polish man people you are big gunda only okay come surrender your arms we check your faction figure okay he is a great man only inside maoist now two acre land you can take it and your son want to study mbbs now we will give quota and uh, let him study in uh, delhi medical college aims and uh, some monetary support we will give to you some other various support uh, legal provision we will give to fight against the cases the government put against you na so we will support everything you fight against the cases in judiciary first you surrender come rehabilitation become a normal citizen practice peace activity instead and try to neutralize your followers try to neutralize your own friends from maoist side to government a kind of idea in 5 lakhs reward will be given additional things so a surrender come rehabilitation is one kind of idea apart from this we are having some kind of problem inside our country lot of developmental schemes and programs you all are i think majority of the people or at least 50 percentage of this class belongs to the rural community a rural background at least their father or forefather no one came from the city life na exclusively delhi eight completely any delhi eight uh, Five four generation, so okay. You are a Delhi and you are city guy, okay. But majority of the people, maybe first generation or second generation, their root usually goes to some remotest places of India, rural area. You all know. Well, the government is providing a proper uh, schemes and program for strengthening the backward district. 
lot of uh, schemes and programs are existing in our country for development of backward districts, funding mechanisms. But the fund is really going like the way I'm handling one ice cube to her. She is passing, 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 passing. When he receives it, he will have only one droplet of water. But I gave ice cube from Delhi. But when the Nagaland people receive the uh, scheme, only Nagaland government and local council gave one drop water. So this is the way corruptions are happening inside the country in the name of malnutrition or mal administration, corruption, red tapism, other variances. And apart from this, the government also need to strengthen their mechanism in various ways. Police action alone not possible. So district collectors, district magistrate are the most important thing. So you have to classify this area, tier one area. Very, very sensitive. Tier 2 area. Okay, normal. Tier 3, some influence only. So based on that, tier 1 area, you have to use your military and here you have to use your police or here with the social activists or NGOs, you can able to neutralize the things regarding against Maoism and bring the ba people back to normal. So like this manner, lot of initiatives we need to do. Just write it down. The story is okay, but the examination point of view, you should be Heading is the left-wing extremism, spread of left-wing extremism as per UPSC syllabus. Below that, below that, Naxalite movement in India. There is a subheading. Naxalite movement in India. Point number one, because now we can't able to write essays. It was old time before 2013. And 2016 later, page limit, word limit. Question will be printed on the question sheet itself. So you can't able to write beyond that one. So point B is the best way. I already told in governance class also. And whenever you are stopping time limits, okay, you leave the question and go to the other question. So it won't seem like, okay, you started introduction middle point without giving conclusion, you ended your question. Not like that. So point basis, fifth point, leave it, go to the next point. Like that much. Okay, point number one. It derives, Naxalite movement. It derives, Naxalite movement derives its name from a small village, from a small village, Naxal Bar derives its name from a small village, Naxal Bari, a white marker. Yes. How it's visible now? From a small village Naxal Bari on tri junctions of India, Naxal Bari on tri junction T R I J U N C T I O N. Is there anyone from Bihar border with the Nepal? Nepal border, UP Bihar border with the Nepal? Or anyone from Northeastern states who, which is having border with the neighborhood country? No? Okay. Western UP. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Have you ever heard the term Kalapani? Kalapani or Kalapani? Where it is? Andaman and Nikapa. No. Kalapani is a tri junction in the Bihar border, China, India, Nepal. There it is there. A river. Kalapani River is also there. Kalapani River town is also there. Indian army excessive presence in say Kalapani is creating enmity between Indian people with the Nepal people. Kalapani River town. You can Google it now easily, you can find. Okay. Andaman and Nikapa, I never hear any term in the name of Kalapani. 
or Kalapani Jail, maybe something like Pusa. Kalapani and Lipulek. Ah, uh, Nipulek, very good. Uh, like Pusa. Have you heard the word Pusa? Pusa Institute. Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAI. It Bihar. was Bihar. Ah, Bihar, very good. It was created by Lord Curzon inside Bihar. The village name was Pusa. And when earthquake happened and the entire village went down and government of India decided to shift that institution from Pusa and they identified there are some refugee camp in the name of new Rajendranagar, old Rajendranagar, Karol Bagh, lot of forest area. So they shifted to that place and they named the entire area for that uh, remembrance of that village in the name of Pusa Institute. It was a village name in Bihar. Now the Pusa uh, is there in say Delhi also. Like this, maybe Kalapani, some kind of thing. Huh. Uh, Naxal Bari on tri junction of India, comma, Nepal, India, Nepal, and West, East Pakistan. Now it is Bangladesh. And Bangladesh in 1967. Small village in Naxal Bari on tri junctions of India, Nepal, and East Pakistan. Now Bangladesh in 1967. Second point, the Santal tribe, the Santal tribe of Naxalbari village, the village, the tribal community only, Santal tribal, tribals of Naxalbari, armed with A-R-M-E-D, armed with A-R-M-E-D, armed with vows and arrows, like Bagbali, bows and arrows, forcibly occupied, forcibly occupied the land of Jamindas. There only problem starts. The land of Jamindas. Next point, within quotation, if there is to be revolution, if there is to be revolution, comma, if there is to be revolution, comma, there must be, there must be a revolutionary party. There must be a revolutionary party within quotation. There must be a revolutionary party, put a hyphen and write, formed on F O R M E D formed on 22nd April, formed on created on 22nd April 1969. 22nd April 1969. <clears throat> in the name of in the name of Communist Party of Communist Party of Communist Party of, within bracket, Marxist and Leninist. Communist Party of Marx, Karl Marx. Marxist and Leninist. N-N-I-S-T. L-E-N-N-N-I-N-I-S. Leninist, bracket close, India. Communist Party of, within bracket, Marxist and Leninist, India. With the objective of with the objective of A, first objective, A, arouse, A-R-O-U-S-E, arouse, the peasant masses, formal, P-E-A-S-A-N-T, peasant masses, M-A-S, okay. arouse, wait, I will write. Arouse the peasant masses. In the countryside, uh, continue, continue. In the countryside, village side, masses in the countryside to wage war, W A G, wage war against the government. 
B, second point, B, build a rural base, B U I L D, build a rural base to encircle E N C I R C E L E, encircle the cities and finally and finally, capture the cities. That is the agenda, aim, objective. Capture the city to liberate the whole country. To liberate the whole country. W-H-O-L-E, whole country. Within bracket, this Communist Party of marxist Leninist, no? the moment they formed it, within bracket, it was recognized by it was recognized by China comma UK comma Sri Lanka Sri Lanka and Albania A L B E N I A Albania bracket close next point this Naxal body movement, this Naxal body movement was widespread, was widespread all parts of the country, was widespread all parts of the country except, except Union territories of Goa, Union territories of Goa, UT, Goa, that time it was Goa, I'm talking about 1916, I don't think that, okay, Goa now becomes state, okay, that time it was, okay, Goa, comma, Puducherry, that time it was Pondicherry, P-O-N-D-I-C-H-E-R-R-Y, P-O-N-D-I-C-H-E-R-R-Y, comma, Andaman and Nicobar Island, A-N-N-N -N Island, And northeastern states, northeastern states. Next point. Their immediate agenda was their immediate agenda. What is their immediate cause? Immediate agenda, A G N D A. Agenda was put a hyphen and write. Their immediate agenda was put a hyphen and write. Annihilation of class enemies. Annihilation. A N N I. Annihilation. <coughs> Annihilation of class enemies. C L E S S. Annihilation of class enemies. And the beginning of beginning of guerrilla war. G U E R R I L. Who started the? Who practiced this guerrilla war? Shivaji. Okay, good. Guerrilla war. And converted it into immediate cause. Converted it into higher form of high level form a form. Higher form of class struggle, higher form of class struggle. Next point. Naxalism, subheading, you can put. Naxalism, next heading below this, you can put. Put a hyphen and write. It is not to be, Naxalism is not to be, not to be mere, M E R E, mere law and order problem, not to be mere law and order problem, 
and it needs to be tackled and it needs to be tackled tsekly tackle as a socio economic problem it need to be tackled tsekly as a socio economic problem socio economic problem Okay, then one second, some more history you have to. Next point, the declining nature of Naxalbari village, Naxalbari movement, sorry, the declining nature of Naxalbari movement, after defining Naxalism, moving into declining nature of Naxalbari movement, started around, started around, August 1971 started around August 1971 based on the operation based on the operation steeple chase based on the operation steeple chase S T E P L steeple chase within bracket through this, within bracket, through this, Charu Majumdar, T H A R U, M A Z U M D A R, Charu Majumdar was also arrested. But you had right, was arrested only, not surrender. It's against the government. Na. So better, you had right. He was also arrested on July 1972. And July 1972. And few days later, few days later, he died. Not under custody. You have to write, few days later, he died. That's all. Bracket close. Yes, being a future civil servant, you should not criticize the government too much. Okay. It will humiliate the government. Okay. Next, the revival. The revival of Naxalbari movement. The revival of Naxalbari movement. Heading revival of Naxalbari movement. First point. The formation of people war group. The formation of people war group PWG in AP in Andhra Pradesh in 1980s. Revival of in AP in 1980s. Under, under Kondapalli Sita Ramaya. Kondapalli Sita Ramaya. R-A-M-A-I-A-H-O-N-S-A-R. gave a new life to this movement. Kontapalli Chita Ramaya gave a new life to this movement. Next point. People's War Group program, People's War Group, second point, People's War Group programs included, PWG's program included a redistribution of land 
redistribution of land b enforcement of enforcement of minimum wages enforcement of minimum wages to the farmers enforcement of minimum wages to the farmers c enforcing taxes a farmer farmer c third point enforcing taxes who will enforce tax in india who can able to enforce taxes in india political over hmm for some people over some people no okay who can able to enforce taxes in india <laughs> ministry of finance okay i think as per the po polity knowledge parliament is having an ultimate authority who can able to introduce modify change induction of any taxes except to increase tax they won't increase taxes but they will in, they will modify the taxes from 1 rupee to 10 rupee it is not increase they are modifying parliament introduce gst parliament re modify gst when parliament own increase taxes against the indian people because it is a democratic country who ah uh, they are they won't say increase they will modify from 1 rupee to 5 rupee because it is a democratic country by the people for the people of the people not buying people okay good anyhow next point Uh, but we have to say that the, the parliament is the ultimate authority to introduce taxes and all but who there, is, there should be a body na finance ministry in that finance ministry who will do the department of expenditure only will do the budgeting if the question is coming in polity area there is a section ministries and department you already attended the class na ministries and department i discuss a little bit about finance ministry expenditure revenue and all the expenditure department you go and see it will be there the budget formation is exclusive right 2016 they asked this question revenue department is exclusive authority to introduce budget that's totally wrong it is expenditure department preliminary it usually comes holding next point holding people's court a b c d e next point holding people's court comma destroying government property here only the violent mean came destroying government property uh, holding people's court a uh, court c o u r t court holding people court c o u r t people's court you know na you know only supreme court high court district court but what about people court our court we can not card not cup panchayat or panchayat they are totally different people's court means we can able to we will give justification okay he he has committed some mistake against the modesty of women what you people are saying killing him that's all over take my gun and i will kill him okay justification that family also became very happy instead of waiting for nirbhaya's verdict such a long time and finally juvenile so we can able to punish beyond 3 years so we can release him after releasing him you will give some money for rehabilitating him that gentleman who less than 18 years of age instead of that like uh, saudi arabia and other various country hemurabi principle eye for eye teeth for teeth and uh, killing is the maximum for death penalty for death penalty people's court generally na hero in hindi movie and all other movie usually do na at the end that is people's court okay destroying government property comma here only the violent mean came into kidnapping government officials destroying government property comma kidnapping government officials started kidnapping government officials comma attacking policeman and enforcing social code enforcing social code cod enforcing social code okay 
next point with the initiation of with the initiation of operation greyhound the initiation of operation greyhound in 1989 operation greyhound in 1989 by k s vyas the dgp of andhra pradesh greyhound in 1989 by k s v y a s vyas then dgp of andhra pradesh the Naxal Boy movement, sorry, the People's War group what managed by Andhra people. Next, next point. The formation of the formation of Maoist Communist Center. Maoist, M-A-O-I-S-T. Maoist Communist Center, M-C-C. The formation of Maoist Communist Center during 1987 during 1987 to 1992 87 to 92 as a fight for as a fight for socio-economic justice, a fight for socio-economic justice, actually, actually degenerated into socio-economic justice, actually degenerated, D-E-G-N-E, degenerated into a caste conflict, upper caste, lower caste, degenerated into a caste conflict okay the next these mcc the maoist communist center also creating sorry created also created a parallel system of a parallel system of Jan Adalat People's Court. Jan Adalat. J A N A D A L A T. Jan Adalat. That means People's Court. Okay. Like the previous. Okay. This movement also somewhat managed with the help of various initiatives taken by the government of India with the police forces and all. Finally done. And next. Subheading. The disturbing features of the following move, the above movement. The disturbing features of the above movement. People's War Group movement, Naxal Bari movement, and this MCC movement. The disturbing features of the above movements are above movements are first point. It is spread over. What are the features about this movement? Then only you can able to rectify. It is spread over a large geographical area. It is spread over a large geographical area. It is spread over a large geographical area. Second, it increased. It increased in potential. It increased in potential for violence. Violence. It increased in potential for violence. Third, unification of third feature, unification of PWG with MCC happened. People's War Group with Maoist Communist Center. Unification of PWG with the MCC happened. And next point, 
also have a plan it also have a plan it also have a plan to create to create a red corridor create a red corridor and finally and finally created a nexus with nex us created a nexus with this is a dangerous trend creating a nexus with north is an insurgent north is an insurgent north east insurgent i n s u r g e n t insurgent and nepal maoist north is an insurgent and nepal maoist m a o i s t maoist it's a unacceptable thing when i am talking about this idea red corridor or this otherwise called as compact revolutionary zone they usually say it is a red corridor zone or it is compact okay revolutionary zone c r z or r c z they want to promote and the idea of this r c z they decided the tamil nadu is the area who, which always completely uh, isolated from india okay their nasal bari is not that much successful okay so from the borders of tamil nadu in the area of andhra pradesh they usually call that nallamalai hills from this nallamalai hills they started penetrating into various places in and around the country and they reached up to the bihar borders india nepal bihar border na from this entire area more than 12 states including chatisgarh jharkhand maharashtra odisha bihar and some part of the area till this bihar border to andhra pradesh border 12 states they want to create in the name of red corridor zone compact revolutionary zone that is their main objective around 2010 they have achieved really and even the district collectors we know very well for traveling from their office to their uh, house from house to office safely they usually pay money to maoist i will give money monthly don't disturb me because maoist are having a mindset whenever they are saying red light cars they will put one landmine below let us blow this car sometime collectors may insist or they will kidnap the collector very popular things the alex paul man and case you can refer in google google it in internet he was uh, went for a negotiation with the people and he was kidnapped by the maoists and they get ransom something like that i don't know how problems settled with the release of some maoist leader something like that happened so you should be very very careful with those kind of ideas so compact revolutionary happened they established it and with the influence of china that everyone knows the funding usually comes from china even there is an another popular arms case also still happening inside in west bengal they dropped a lot of arms and ammunition through air it came from china from a aeroplane they dropped lot of weapons inside west bengal in order to support maoist inside i think berulia or some district inside west bengal it happened so this is the way the spread in and around india next point as per as per next point as per the institute of conflict management as per the institute of conflict management you need a break ha uh, no three hours we can able to continue na one na or 12th day or one until one for the next uh, coming days this week and maybe from next week onwards 9:30 to 12:30 i think winter is okay na manageable i think so they are saying so next week onwards from 9:30 to 12:30 if necessary we can go for 5 to 10 minutes break in the middle one and a half hour later then we can continue for next one and a half hour or shall i continue for at a stretch of 3 hours ha huh? so you want break now okay five minutes break you can take it 12:45 one and there is a schedule na it is ha 10 to 12:30 but they told me 10 to 3 normally i usually take 3 hours na ha uh, no no it, uh, that is different ethics is different <laughs> here uh, internal security is different anyhow five minutes you take a break the institute of conflict management as per the 
reports of the Institute of Conflict Management. Write it down as per the institute report of Institute of Conflict Management. Put a hyphen and write. 287 out of 610, not 289, 287 out of 610 districts, official districts, 287 out of 610 official districts were affected by Maoist. Districts were affected by Maoist. Next, the people war group, next point, the people war group and the MCC decided to merge, decided to merge MERG on March 2004, decided to merge on March 2004 unified party merge on march 2004 unified party p a r t y called communist party of india communist party of india maoist the problematic people right communist party of india Maoist with a plan, Communist Party of India, Maoist with the plan to have to have compact revolutionary zone. Z R Z compact revolutionary zone. C R Z. From India Nepal border, compact revolutionary zone from India Nepal border to the Danda Karanya region, Nalamali Hills, the Danda Karanya region. Okay, next, government initiatives, what are the initiatives taken by the government so far? So far we discussed about overall idea how the way the spread happened. Point number one, to handle Naxal Bari movement, to handle Naxal Bari movement, Uh, government initiatives, government, how the way the government handled the Naxal Bari movement from the beginning to till today, okay, to handle the Naxal Bari movement, the West Bengal government, the West Bengal government had started Operation Barga, had started Operation Barga, B-A-R-G-A, B-A-R-G-A, Barga. In 1972, under which, under which the farmers were registered, under which the farmer, agriculture farmers, were registered and given the farmers were registered and given per permanent permanent inheritable rights permanent inheritable rights on cultivation inheritable rights on cultivation of their land cultivation of their land based on that based on that land reforms happened sorry land distribution happened 
based on that land distribution happen. as an initiative of as an initiative of a new land reform as an initiative of a new land reform initiated by the government in a new land reform initiated by the government west bengal government i think in same paper 3 you people are having a one another topic land reforms in india have you checked the syllabus Yes, it is there in our economy part, not in internal security or not in history. So, there only, it's a continuation of this part only. I already gave us a formula. You remember that one? Long back. When I want to achieve land reforms in a successful manner inside our country, what we need to do? How we can able to achieve land reforms as a successful movement inside our country? Good governance class, I told one formula. You all remember? I think uh, hardly three or four people usually write test. Uh, land reforms is equivalent to. Now you try to remember. Uh, land reforms is equivalent to uh, achieving social equity along with increase in agricultural productivity. Increase in agricultural productivity. This is a formula you need to. Here also you can able to use it. If you can able to write formulas. Nowadays I can able to see your papers also in a various pay test. You people are writing diagrams. You people are giving flow charts. You are giving point basis like all India toppers who told last year, last year, last year. But no one is aiming for this. This is the current trend. If next year you want to be a topper and you want to fix a benchmark for the followers for coming people. Every question, if possible, where are the if possibility, try to make formulas. Good governance is equivalent to uh, transparency plus accountability plus social responsiveness. Transparency, accountability, is, is responsiveness, some example like this manner. Okay. Land reforms is equivalent to social equity plus agricultural increase in agricultural productivity while well, taking care of the social equity only the various government uh, starting from west bengal operation barga or other various schemes and programs uh, re rehabilitation comes surrender very recently odisha government etc uh, etc et all are happening and other along with that the government also initiated from the time of indira gandhi to till today jamindari abolition act land ceiling act binami prohibition act enemy property act like this manner you can able to see a lot of acts created by the parliament of india to taking care of land reform those area you will write if the question comes land reforms in india in paper one post independent consolidation there is a unit is there in a history part you just see the ancient medieval modern after modern before world history post independent consolidation there you can able to give this type of answer strengthening social equity through various acts of the government but if it is coming in paper 3, internal security or economy, you should also strengthen this area. Increase in agricultural productivity. There is no, no, not even single academy or single teacher never and ever discuss about this. This is the way you have to show your answer is very unique. And no one, even the topmost academy, topmost people, nobody is going to give this type of answers. This is the key. No one can able to reduce your mark also. Increase in agricultural productivity. How you can able to increase the agricultural productivity? Lot of schemes, the ji announced the soil card, this card, that card and all. Don't write those things because suppose a teacher from JNU, you know, they won't give mark for this kind of time. Better, you have to manage with this with the help of providing water facility to everyone. Water. Narmada Canal. Constructed inside Gujarat. J Rajasthan and various years. Okay, and okay, water has come. Now, I want to go for a very good seed. So, genetically modified seed, Modi ji permitted to the Gujarat people to go for GT cotton. Okay, so seed, high yielding seed variety. Then I am having water and high yielding seed, productivity got increased more. Now, it is the duty of the government to allow me to sell the product directly to the market without any mediation. So, they have done something in the name of increasing. Okay, water is there, seed is there, market access. That is another most important thing. 
Now from Jammu Kashmir, you can able to sell your product through online mode. Government has initiated a lot of things. ENAM, E National Agricultural Mission. Okay, so anywhere, anywhere you can, you can sell your cotton directly to Chinese farmers. Commodity markets are there in capital.com or various dot coms also there. You can able to do. So all these things, this is only people are calling Modi magic. Okay, inside Gujarat, water. And he had additional things. Okay, water is there, but water scarcity is also there inside the Gujarat, dry area, some areas, some are very difficult. So over the water canal, he constructed, sorry, a solar panel over it, world largest solar panel over this canal. So water will go underground over solar panel, heat will be there, power, automatic electricity production. So one side additional information below the water, the water will go underground above solar panel, canal will be properly covered during summer. This is an idea you people might be studied. India borrowed those kind of methodology from Middle East country like Afghanistan or Persia or Mesopotamia in the name of, recently there was an article also in newspaper. Gariz or otherwise called as Gonad. These are the underground canal irrigation process. So when the US Army comes, the Taliban will go underground. They know how this canal will go inside the city of Afghanistan, various places. No one can able to identify. When the army goes, these people will come and attack people once upon a time. So Afghanistan, it is easy to attack, but no one can able to rule the country. It is easy to defeat, no one can able to conquer Afghanistan. Because of the method, Kariz and Gonath, not only there, people are saying that no one knows how the origin happened. But in India, right now, some article also appeared in newspaper. Even Afghanistan forgot about it because Americans destroyed this canal because it's an enemy for them. So they started destroying the underground canal. And uh, Pakistan also left. And uh, Indian people, Northern Plain also, they forgot. But right now, in Karnataka, the people are practicing this uh, Gariz or Ganath in a proper manner based on that uh, agricultural revolution happening inside Karnataka. Like this, one article appeared regarding Gariz and Ganath. You can Google it, you can find it some information regarding all are there in the same plan only Modi government fixed the solar panel world largest solar panel solar harvest energy harvest below this without evaporation water will also go from point to point that is the idea increase in agricultural productivity already social equity with the various schemes and programs or act etc etc now land reforms happen in India since independent it was a failure but now they are saying some successful risk like this manner you can give in your paper 3 exam Good. Come back. Operation Barga. Okay. Next. Counter Nexel strategies. Next is abiding. Counter <coughs> Nexel strategies. With the use of security forces, with the use of security forces, government has identified, government has identified three tier areas. A three tier areas. First tier, second tier, third. Three tier areas. In the first tier, in the first tier areas, in the first tier areas, put a hyphen and write. Negotiation with the local leaders in the first tier areas, put a hyphen and write. Negotiation with the local leaders. and made him neutralized negotiation with the local leaders and made him neutralized very minimum affected area tire one from administration side neutralized from administration management side district collector all can able to do this this and from administration side and Army operation on the other side, 
army operation same way army operation on the other side with army operation on the other side with fresh model of governance a very fresh model of governance a fresh model of governance under military army a yeah, civilian cannot be able to do, collector cannot be able to better army governance completely, entire one, very worst affected area. Second, entire two area, second tier area, put a hyphen and write. Police should re establish entire two area, police should re establish control, police should re establish control. And police should re establish control and neutralize, neutralize the influence of terrorist. Neutralize the influence of terrorist. And in administration side, this side police action, and in administration side. Selected DC, DM, selected district collectors and the SP, selected district collectors and the SP with the minimum tenure, T-E-N-U-R-E. -E. Who is considered as father of tenure system in our country? Father of tenure system in our country? Christian side. Lord Carson, who is also considered as a father of a departmentalization in our country. In 1904, uh, he initiated something in the name of uh, archaeological department, okay, crime investigation department, agricultural department, PUSA, etc., 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 along with the minimum tenure. Officer need to be there at least two year, three year in one post. The tenure system, so generally, Lord Carson will be considered as a father of tenure system. So, based on that, uh, some years before UPS asked a question. Comparing Gandhi and Nehru with the, uh, Lord Kars. You might be aware of this thing. And after that, on the 150th year celebration of Mahatma Gandhi, they compared Mahatma Gandhi with the, uh, Subhas Bose. Mahatma Gandhi and 120, some uh, birth centenary year of Ambedkar. One said Mahatma Gandhi and Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Subhas Bose. Like this manner, continuously three years in history, paper one, UPSA asked this question. Cousin with the Gandhi, uh, Nehru. Nehru is a hero and Lord Curzon is a villain, partition of Bengal. How you will compare both are makers of modern India? Based on the point what I said, departmentalization, he started. And uh, most important thing that uh, when uh, Lily Curzon, the wife of Lord Curzon, first initiated a program inside uh, Kaziranga, Assam. The India's first protected wildlife sanctuary, protected area was started by Lord Curzon in 1905 by inaugurated by Willy Curzon, the wife of Lord Curzon. In the same way, when India got independence, Nehru also created a Bagranangal Dam, Damodar Dam, and other various dam. And while doing constructing dam, he made a populist statement. Dams are the modern temple. You may be aware of this thing, essay paper. But uh, you will put full stop there. Dams are modern temple. While making dam, you should not alter the ecology and affect the biodiversity of the people. So in this manner, both are the makers of modern India. It appeared in newspaper, not in history book. No, not in single history book, never and never deal with these kind of things. Only uh, the supplementary of uh, uh, Hindu carried these kind of information. And the same way in Quora, people usually ask some question. Among them, they will discuss. Suddenly, it will appear in a history question also. Like, uh, I think some 2015, 14, around one student asked a question in that, why battles are always happening in Panipat? First battle of Panipat, 1526. Second battle of Bonnie Panipat, I think 1556. And third battle of Panipat, around 1761 or 64, 61. Like that manner, three battles happen only in Panipat. Why not uh, Dur Dwaragar, uh, Greater Noida, and around that area rather than Panipat? A student asked, and some people discussed it. Within two years, UPSC asked the same question in uh, Mains 2017 or 18. Why battles always happen in Panipat? Uh, a lot of, I am not that much knowledge about geography or history. I am just uh, giving some idea to a student in what way questions can happen. 
supplement wise other outsiders come from persia and mesopotamia but for delhi it is very near and it is an elevated plain so indian uh, moguls can able to keep their soldiers on the other side of the things and here your infantry can go from their horse can able to come you can create a trap uh, ambush how the way the maoists will do against uh, indian security agencies in the area of bastar region or other areas area the same way you can use panipat against uh, enemies lot of other you can put you can refer in quora and they will discuss a good nice answer also like this manner some questions will appear in upsc mains okay come back selected district collector and sp with minimum tenure okay the problem in that one once you become ias officer or ips officer general no one want to work in chatisgarh and jharkhand especially you, anyhow they will alert the cadre no one want to go to the well affected maoist area and one of my student right now once he become he very specific his father is a, a leader inside bjp through influence they can able to get a good post but he very specifically asked the bastar region as a forest officer he want to start his life as a dfo inside that area more was to more west of not even city area forest area you know it is very popular for maoism activity he selected the post as a challenging one i think his life will be very bright because uh, in confidential report the people will give good things and based on that promotion after some time you will get okay anyhow good tier 3 next point in tier 3 area in tier 3 area put a hyphen and write heavy development strength and heavy development activity and least police interference police should not come very very last time uh, heavy development and least police involvement least police involvement and for administrators for administrators like officers compulsory services before promotion if you work here only we will give promotion then everyone will come compulsory services before promotion compulsory services before promotions next is abetting after this counter next strategies uh, the initiatives by the government next strategies implementation strategy implementation strategy implementation strategies put a hyphen and write implementation strategies put a hyphen and write first point expansion of governance expansion of governance what is this expansion of governance how we can able to expand governance expansion of governance simply you have done it write it okay expansion it's a good point what did mean uh okay that is expansion expansion of governance uh uh okay what is governance you have to expand it what is governance already we discussed what is governance what is good governance world bank report so on so on so that's why i asked this question expansion of governance we done it inside a good governance class itself in 1918 and first time the idea regarding good governance was properly defined through the world bank document on the basis of that the idea regarding governance came into exist and i'm talking about governance transparency accountability responsibility what is the problem inside remote sti area what are the problems land related problem that is the main problem land when my land got aggrieved when my land got taken by someone else within my land itself i become landless laborer right now once upon a time i am the owner of this forest adivasi forest dwellers now they are forcing me to go to the other area taking the land and giving my land to jindal to develop mining activities adani mining activities and uh, korean companies are entering into chatisgarh jharkhand so within my land i am alienated within my land i become a displaced personality so my problem will be properly removed or rectified then automatically how the way you can able to remove my problem 
I can able to only live in forest area. But you are giving a land very near to suburban area, urban area. There I will become a manual laborer or unorganized sector laborer. I am not a forest dweller no more. In city, urban area, semi-urban area, in uh, the outskirts of city, what I am going to do? The land government gives to me. Nothing. For the forest dweller, you will give area very near to coastal region of Odisha. He don't know how to catch fish. Fisher community only can able to. But you are giving land. It's the cheapest land. Okay, let the Adivasi come and stay here. Join with the uh, fisherman community. How they can able to live? They only know how to collect honey, wood, and forest related things. And you are rehabilitating. And good thing only you are rehabilitating. But putting in the area, they will become unorganized sector laborer. Then no result. Unorganized sector laborers are coming into the slum area means automatically juvenile delinquency, law and order issue, thieves only you are going to create, not workers you are going to. This is the way the problems are happening. Expansion of good governance should be addressed in those areas. Okay. Put a hyphen and write. Number of schemes, expansion of governance, put a hyphen and schemes. Number of schemes. In the field of employment, comma land reforms, number of schemes in the field of employment, this is an expansion of governance, comma land reforms, comma education, comma health and business, number of schemes in the field of employment, land reform, education, health and business should be increased, should be increased. And all these should be achieved. Expansion of good governance, all these should be achieved through, through simplification of procedures. Simplification of procedures. Anyone in this class ever and ever visited any bank in your lifetime? Okay. You know how to take DD, demand draft, or how to give check. At least uh, you might be from hostel to somewhere. You. DD, how to take demand draft? Hmm. Huh? Okay. At least few people knows. Maybe their family has some kind of tradition that is children should know everything. Parents will send their children. You go to bank and visit and do these kind of factors. Some children are the uh, people with the bond, silver spoon or golden spoon or platinum spoon, etc., etc. And even with the ordinary family, nowadays their parents never allowed their children to expose too much. They always within their hand. They never. So these kind of children will become civil servants. Okay. And those kind of civil servants will make policy for the betterment of Adivasis, tribal community, etc., etc., in an elaborate. This is the way the things are happening. That is an another problematic thing. Okay, anyhow. The next year is submitting. Police response. Heading, police response to control the Naxal problem from beginning to till day. Any heading may be a question. Police response to control the Naxal problems, left-wing extremism problem, Naxal problem, anything. From the beginning of independence onwards, the various committees are recommending that it is necessary that the government need to strengthen police department through police reform. Police reform. And we know very well the entire system of police system is completely on the basis of the backup of constabulary system. Constables, you know, the beat constables will be there. They are the main thing. They know everything. Even you become a IPS officer, at least for five minutes, you need to work like a constable. Then you have to work like a station house officer for money, hours a day. And then only they will give you as assistant superintendent with the tag and all you can go. And... So this is an idea. But the most important thing, those constables knows the locality well because generally the local people only become local police. They know very well. 
But the way frequently the security officers and the security people are changed. For example, I am from Tamil Nadu and they made me as a security officer in Chhattisgarh as an IPS officer, so and so, so and so. Then what I know about the Chhattisgarh people? One side. And other various things are there. The local people, the constables are the one who really knows each and everything. But in terms of decision making process, they never hear from an IPS officer will listen to the constable. At least sir, tell me. I want to listen from you. Then I will make policy. I will implement, I will give orders. No one will, the ego class. And police reform is a long pending issue that uh, people are asking. They want to modify it. At least the government removed the orderly system. Previously, every government officers, police officers, nah, uh, the policeman, constable will act like a orderly. So what you have to do? You have to wash the clothes of the family of police officer. Kitchen work, like that manner. But with the various initiation done by the various government, at last they have removed that idea. But still, IPS officer means 10, 12 police officers generally will work in your house. Even though the system got abolished. But uh, practically, IPS officer will go to the office and some constable will come to the office of the IPS officer to help uh, the gardening and the kitchen and washing and other various things are happening, a kind of punishment that generally people will give. This is the way that things are happening. So reform only will help in various ways. Right down. Modernization of state police. First response. Modernization of state police. I think in the previous last year also, last to last year also, I discussed about this point. Uh, you can see the record also uh, regarding border management and village uh, international relations. Uh, the village defense council need to be strengthened, VDC. In some governance class also, I told slightly about this village defense council. So when militants are entering into Indiana, the local people need to have some kind of training to handle how to handle right people. Then they will give information to the military. Military will come. In the meantime, local people only can able to react, stop the people, not to enter into India. At least two days before, uh, the Indian Army and the Jammu Kashmir government accepted that village defense council. They are planning to give uh, arms and ammunition to the village people. Whenever terrorist comes, let the village react with the rifles. But they are having AK-47. That's a different thing. At least uh, in Chhatrapati Sivaji, some constables uh, handle the... Uh, terrorists with the help of uh, rifles, na? the same way they are making people to defend. In the meantime, police will come, our military will come, our border forces will come. Like that manner, modernization of state police. Second point, identify, identify vulnerable police station. Vulnerable, V-U-L, N-E-R-A-B-L-E. Vulnerable police station. Identify vulnerable police station. And outpost in Naxal areas. Vulnerable police station and outpost, OET, POS, outpost in Naxal areas. And identify vulnerable police stations and outpost in Naxal areas and fortification, fortification, FOR, fortification under this scheme. Fortification under this scheme. From the beginning of 67 to till date, or before independence to till date, have you heard about the idea 1922, exactly 100 years ago? Some police station were under severe attack by the Indian people, and which led to the idea of uh, disbanding the concept of non-cooperation movement by Gandhi. Which incident? Uh, Chauri Chaura incident. When it happened? 1922. Around that time, last year during COVID, people forget to celebrate, but it's a, it's not they, even they don't want to celebrate the immature nature of police, uh, people in, of India, one side, Gandhi left. So these kind of incidents, when the first, when people become aroused, or people become angry, immediately they want to attack the nearest police boot one. So you have to do the fortification. You have to uh, entrain the police to handle those kind of things. Okay, next point, revision of Security related expenditure. Revision, revision, R E V A C O. Revision of security related expenditure. Yes, R E within that. Security related expenditure scheme. Revision of security related expenditure scheme in 2005. Okay, there is an another problem. 
certain things uh, the department won't tell to anyone expenditure in india we are having in politics class you might be know about this how money can be taken from the consolidated fund of india with the consent of president okay well and good that is contingency fund consolidated fund with the budget proposal departments are giving their things and through budget they are and all those things will be done with the help of appropriation bill once appropriation done only you can able to take money from where consolidated fund of india while doing that thing consolidated fund of will come under two category expenditure charged from consolidated fund of india expenditure made from consolidated fund of india if it is made from you have to do debate discussion voting increase the amount reduce the amount stop the amount through voting process expenditure charged from consolidated fund of india you can discuss but you can it won't go for voting immediately it will be passed deemed to be passed money will go to the concerned people salaries of high court supreme court judges consolidated compound auditor general so on so so on so retired is people's pension all will come from those category expenditure charged from consolidated fund of so we are having a method this is the most important thing so every expenditure need to be properly suppose as a raw officer i want to keep a bomb inside karachi can i able to write account that okay yesterday i purchased a bomb from alguida people and now i am going to keep a bakery inside karachi it is going to blast cost is 1 lakh rupee can I able to give the account to the government like this scrutiny won't be there certain areas certain things will come certain things won't come so people are utilizing those opportunity one double agent recently and he escaped via nepal to usa he was a raw officer also ca agent finally indian government analyzed and identified him and before going to arrest from delhi he went to nepal from nepal he went to usa now he is settled very safely inside usa and money almost more than 60 crores in the name of raw account he spent for his daughter's wedding and other various things in various way and finally he was caught by how accountability won't be there this is a problem in police department lot of things the station our officer need to keep but the people who those are going to give complaint and all now they have to bear they won't take money from the department they will take from people police na generally local area they won't pay money to any people everything is free of cost for police people there's an another things okay good revision of security related expenditure schemes in 2005 and next supply of mine protected vehicle this is the most important pro issue supply of mine m i n e mine protected vehicle m p e mine m i n e mine land mine na mine protected i told you just now only one of my friend uh, when i visited uh, nagaland he gave his hammer hammer generally used by uh, american military but indian bureaucrats also using in north eastern state and these are all bullet proof mine protected vehicle not every officers because that fellow's family for the past four generations are there in nagaland administration he is also now ias his father also his grandfather also his grandfather also great grandfather also an ics officer four generation they worked and the moment i say his name the entire nagaland knows about him his property and all etc etc so he is having four hammer one for hammer price is 2 crore or 1 crore so then you have to do importer and you had to add additional feature that mine protected vehicle bullet proof gas etc 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 like ambani recently gave one bullet proof vehicle to his granddaughter na for 64 64 crore rupees those kind of things will be given to police people will they give government no it is his person his money so he created his own hammer mine protected vehicle but generally officers won't get these kind of things very rare and the travel for the crpf officers those are involving into the comping operation inside gray hand green hand etc need to come back to their headquarters or office something like that with the normal police vehicle only ashok leyland or tata or something like that even normal time those tatas won't run properly ashok leyland won't run properly when landmine goes 13 soldiers died crpf officer abused in landmine led blast so all the things but you have to give na even everyone knows during the comping operation taj goramandal 2008 incident the bullet proof jacket weared by the ips officer is not original it's a duplicate one so they as uh, a kit the it not function properly then he died on the spot ips officer deputy commissioner then what about normal people 
Will they give the same jacket to the defense minister? No, no. So this is the problem. Okay, supply of mine protected vehicles. Next point. It implemented now. Long term deployment of long term deployment of central paramilitary forces. Long term deployment of central paramilitary forces. Long term deployment of central paramilitary. For example, now you people are very popular about this structure building. If you want to go for a restroom, tea, want to meet teacher or office room, everything. But the moment first day, suppose you are coming for demo, you don't know. With the hesitated more, you will come inside. And whenever you are seeing these people, sometimes you may see some familiar faces, but sometimes you may feel very awkward. Your enemy may be sitting on the other side, your college, and you are entering into. Some familiarity won't be there. This is the most problematic thing. So when a deployment of central armed forces will happen in one place and they will work in Pakistan border or Uttarakhand or Chhattisgarh, in the meantime, Gujarat and Maharashtra election will come. The police, government will take the police and put it for election duty and keep the new police force there. And they will take some six months to identify, okay, these are the area. Maoists will come and terrorists will go like this. These are the border area. You can able to escape. All identified. In the meantime, transfer will happen to these force to the Assam border and from there, these people will come to Uttarakhand border. So there is a permanency is necessary. At last, I will discuss after some time in border management from the time of India's independent to till 2001, no one realized this mistake. If you know the local area very cleanly, then only you can able to protect the borders. Borders is not the easy job. They know how to create an underground channel also from Pakistan border to Indian border. Okay, and Chinese also daily, they are coming for walking and they are not going back. Okay, today I reach you up to this level. Okay, this is my territory. They are standing here only. Next day they will come another two kilometers inside India and this is my territory. While going walking, they are expanding their territory by the way of moving the borders manually. It won't, they won't fire like a Pakistan terrorists or Pakistan army. They are walking, walking, walking and moving towards India. Arunachal Pais, one day fine morning, they will reach the Tawang Monastery and they will climb the, okay, this, up to this. Chinese territory. So this is the problem right now we are facing. So long term, at last in 2001 to finally the government of India appointed a committee to discuss about India's first border management department in the name of anyone? Since independent to till 2001, Atal time, no other government never and never gave importance to border management. And first committee was appointed by the government of India in 2002 in the name of Madhav Godbol Committee. And that committee only gave a recommendation that one border, one force. It is compulsory. One border, one force. They should not take away from it. They should always remain there. BSF for Pakistan and Bangladesh. Sasriya Sima Bal SSB for Nepal and Bhutan. And Assam Rifle for Myanmar border. And the Indo-Tibetan border police only for ITBF, only for China border. Like this, when from 2003 onwards, we are fixing the idea. So this is the way the things are Okay, good. Next point. Indian Reserve Battalions, IR, Indian Reserve Battalions for Naxal affected states. Indian Reserve Battalion for Naxal affected states. But we are Naxal affected state, states. We are having a policy already I told the Indian Army should not use the against the Indian people. Indian army should not kill Indian people. Indian army only will fight against the terrorist enemy, border area. But when Maoism become very strong throughout uh, India, more than 12 district, uh, 12 states and 287 district inside of a country, and police are not capable. Police are taking rifle and Maoists got AK-56, AK-47 from China and GPS and other various techniques and tools and police are not equal with them. Finally, only Atal Bihari watch by period only uh, APJ Abdul Kalam and Atal Bihari watch, they did a lot of things. They made an agreement with uh, Israel and based on that X-95 assault rifle. You only see this kind of rifle in Rambo movie. Now, one Rambo will take the gun and he'll assassinate the entire army of the United States of America. Mr. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of movies. Na? X-95 assault rifle now has given to the Cobra forces, allied forces, who is fighting against the Maoists rather than 
390 rifle or something. Even now Uttar Pradesh government is also producing uh, AK-102 or 103 or 202 something like a new kind of AK-47 kind of things are happening in UP. So soon it will come to security forces and police forces, they will add. Okay, good. Indian Reserve Battalions for Naxal affected areas. And finally, the most important point, 40 percentage recruitment, 40 percentage recruitment, 4 0, sorry, 14, 40 percentage recruitment in central paramilitary forces. 40 percentage recruitment in central paramilitary forces. Central paramilitary forces from the border areas. From the border areas. And the areas affected by. Militants, local people, 40 percent is the reservation. Areas affected by militants, militants, excellism, left wing extremism, ex militants. Okay. So, if you are here and some problem happened, you know very well about what are the problems you people are facing. Local area. And uh, do I think when I came first time for governance class, the only problem I faced or you faced that the air conditioner. The winter is about to approach you. Some people want to run the air conditioner and uh, two, three people, I, I don't know where they went. Uh, two people always sat in the back side, na, they will start suffering. I also gave some suggestions that, okay, better you both can able to wear one uh, thermal wear or uh, jerkin. So it will be helpful for you to protect yourself. And uh, another guy also, I forget from, uh, I think he usually sat in the corner. Okay, in order to avoid from the uh, fan and the air conditioner or something like that. So people local people. So when you come for the next class, you know very well, okay, we should not sit below the air conditioner or below the things. It's okay, let us go to the other area. The class will be in a smooth manner. And you are coming very beginning, new, then definitely you want to sit below the middle, want to see the teacher or among the people and uh, air conditioner will on, even though you are wearing jerkin or something like that, it won't suffice. Local problem, local people knows everything. So 40 percentage is the most important things. Localite will be appointed into local issues. Okay, continue. Development response. Next subject. Development response. In whatever the way UPSC is going to ask in future, now you have to get ready with everything. So in all the perspective, we have to put it in. Development response. Point number one. Backward district initiatives. BDI. Backward district initiatives. BDI. Now, uh, when I'm talking about this idea, you might be aware of these things. Your uh, teacher might be told something about finance commission and all. Yes or no? Finance commission, have you heard? In polity, what is the major role finance commission do? Expenditure. Or in simple way, I can able to say that the main role of finance commission is to allocate grant in aid to states. Yes or no? Where you studied the grant in aid? Which article? No, no, polity. Which article? <laughs> yes, polity and constitution. Which article you studied the grant in aid? Uh, already asked in 2018 preliminary question. I'm asking UPC question only. Article 2? Okay, A. B. Very good. Uh, C and D. <laughs> Safely, you can give none of the above. <laughs> Safest answer, none of the above. It is nowhere defined in our Indian constitution that the word grant in aid is not at all there in our Indian constitution. But the most important work the Finance Commission under Article 280 they are doing with the states is grant in aid to states. But what is grant in aid? Nowhere defined. 2018 preliminary question. And what is office of profit? Another important thing. Disqualification, nowhere defined. 2019 preliminary question. And what is minority? Nowhere defined. But minority schemes we are having uh, 23, 24 to 30. And what is untouchability? Article 17. Abolition of untouchability. Where it is defined? Nowhere it is defined. And we are talking about budget. But where the word budget is there in our constitution? Nowhere it is. Only annual financial statement under Article 1, 1, 12. Like this manner you studied in polity. Grant in aid. But the way how the grant in aid, the government, central finance ministry is giving to states, 
from state it will come to local area the district is a headquarters dm district collector so like this manner the things are happening but when i'm going to look into this funding process the funding will be done with the help of finance commission under article 280 and every year so five years once that finance commission will be appointed by the president of india and one first finance commission 12th finance commission 14th finance commission and now 15th finance commission and 14th and 15th finance commission recommended that 42 percentage will given to state and 58 will keep it with the central government and 15th commission want to go for 50 50 but now government said okay okay only 42 for state 58 we will keep it so this is the ratio only but they are thinking that soon 16th finance commission we will go for 50 for state 50 percent like this much fund but who how the central government will get fund state will collect taxes and give to central government with the state collection of taxes only central governments are functioning and they will give the same money back to state main revenue of central government is tax collection by state my problem is that already i am giving 50 percentage i am going to 42 right now i am giving to states then what is the necessary i have to go for centrally sponsored schemes in our country css a backward development initiative a kind of centrally sponsored schemes other various initiatives initiated by the recent past all are centrally sponsored schemes already i am giving approximately 42 and 50 i am going to give then why again i need to give before moti comes into power it was around 7000 to 8000 centrally sponsored schemes and after moti become it reduced into 25 26 government said we are giving 42 percentage you use that money 42 don't ask from me So from seven thousand eight thousand to only twenty six, and all the twenty six, twenty five, they are using this. Already I discussed in good governance class, sunset legislation. After six o'clock, we won't give money to anyone because my Lakshmi will come to your house. Friday, if I'm giving money to someone, na, then my Lakshmi will go to your house. Generally, it's an Indian mindset. At least South India, they are having some tradition. Okay, after dark means uh, Lakshmi, all the money wealth will go to your house. So I won't do anything lending, borrowing after six o'clock. Sunset. Once sunset, we won't give money. That is a process. Even government of India is practicing for twenty-five, except to one scheme, MG NREG won't coming under this ambit. Any time you can take money for NG MG NREG. So this is the condition. So now the hilly area development, centrally sponsored scheme, the backward district fund, all the things will be with assistance of central government only. Now central government is saying that approximately you are asking fifty percent. Then why I need to focus on those areas? You manage with your money. But how central government got money from state only? Then why central government want to give to the state? No, no, we won't. Once I get the money, I won't give to anyone. That is the mindset. Indian government, Union government is having. So this is the problem. and i'm talking about backward district initiative the seems to be good only but funding mechanisms are not up to that level they are having problem okay so for our understanding sake i'm giving you can use it for good governance also good <coughs> backward district initiative bdi under this initiatives under this initiative as part of under this initiative as part of prt part of rashtriya sam vikas yojana r s v y rashtriya sam s a m sam vikas v i k s sam vikas yojana comma 15 crore 15 15 crore per year 15 crore per year has been given to 15 crore per year has been given to each districts 15 crore per year has been given to each district for 3 years as part of for 3 years as part of backward region grant fund backward region grant fund backward region grant fund
second point development response second point to facilitate through the scheme i am giving money but fund is not enough one side leave it second point to facilitate social and physical infrastructure social infrastructure and physical infrastructure to facilitate social and physical infrastructure in the forest areas physical and social infrastructure in the forest areas comma m o e f you know na ministry of environment forest m o e f has requested by the central uh, home ministry forest in his, forest areas comma m o e f ministry of environment and forest has requested by the home ministry there is a requisition from the home ministry issued i s s u e d issued very general approval issued a general approval to allow such infrastructure general approval to allow such infrastructure by utilizing by utilizing 1 hectares of forest land 1 hectares of forest land 1 hectares of forest land for non forest purpose for non forest purpose this is another problem forest land for non forest purpose 1 hectare land with the approval of the home ministry and forest ministry will give to someone else so i will come there i will start my resort here and i will do night na uh, disco uh, lighting so many drums beat etc etc but if you are going inside the forest and putting this heavy weight uh, speakers and all what will happen to animals they will also enjoy with you in the party in deepavali you know na in the street of delhi you can able to see how the animals and birds are really suffer they will go and hide below 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 a lot of things even some things will die also because of too much of a sound heartbeat will increase and it will also cardiac arrest for animals also something like this but the government now is saying that okay this is a scheme okay you go and open a resort very deep inside the forest let us have fun without any dis- disturbing any human being go outside on a acre forest land you take it but what happened to animals how long they will wait one day they will come inside your home also resort also animal male conflict that's a total thing in this third point development response they are saying it's a development response but side effect is that you are encroaching forest okay third one last one implement the surrender come rehabilitation schemes implement the surrender s u r e n d e r surrender come rehabilitation scheme surrender come rehabilitation scheme put a hyphen and write what is the surrender come rehabilitation monthly allowances they will give monthly allowances for the maoist who want to surrender monthly allowances comma cash 5 lakhs 2 lakhs 10 lakhs something like this comma life insurance coverage for maoist na for life their life is very necessary so life insurance government will give life insurance coverage comma lawyers to fight lawyers advocates to fight for their previous cases what a pendency na against maoist leaders he killed the only inspector he killed one cs or crpf officer something like that for lawyers to fight for their cases in court their cases in court c o u r t court comma free education and health this much benefit only thing is you need to have some weapon and go and surrender before free education and health and finally one acre agricultural land government will give to you one acre agricultural land but your name should be like bulan devi 
popularity. Then only they will give, otherwise no one will give money to you. Okay, that is another condition government is keeping. Ah, oh, yes. But uh, you, you, if you are not doing now, then no one will come and surrender. That will, they will kill more people. So comparatively, na, something is better than nothing. Nothing is better than nonsense. It's a common word people generally use. Na. So something is better, nothing is better than nonsense. So in this case, okay, at least you come and surrender with your weapon. Okay, they know very well. They are having a hierarchy that so-and-so, so-and-so is going to surrender only. You will get this benefit. You are claiming that you are self-proclaimed Maoist or you are urban Naxalist. For example, you are studying in JNU and you are claiming yourself as urban Naxalist. I want to surrender before. Please give. No one will give anything. They will keep you. Open the, the doors of Tihar jail. Take rest for some more months. Like that. <coughs> So conclusion, okay. Uh, before the entire title, you can put, and we can go. Uh, over. Ten, ten minutes. Five minutes less. Okay. Discussing about. Uh, why you want to discuss about it? Uh, any, any specific case? It is a, it is a psychological aberration. Generally, people normal behaviors won't. Generally, no one will go into this kind of things. But anyhow, legally, now this is the case that uh, we have to give acceptance to this. Uh -huh. The moment India accepted the idea of LGBT community, okay. On the basis of that, it became legal right now. The main problem process in that one, when the HIV kind of things are keep on increasing, okay, people refused to come before uh, health sector or other various things because of the fear of law. Like a suicide if you are trying to do, then police will come and arrest you immediately. You want to die, they won't allow you to die. They will keep you inside prison. There also you will try to do. But you need to approach a psychological counselor to give counseling to those people rather than taking law. And Law Commission of India recommended for decriminalization of suicide on the basis of that government accepted suicide means no punishable offense. After the recommendation of Law Commission only, the LGBT community also permissible right now. Supreme Court, High Court involved into this one. So right now, based on that, maybe some cases comes regarding HIV. People will come forward. So government will help them with the health sector. That was our main purpose. And there is an international movement also. Right now, India is also part of the United Nations Human Rights Commission, United Nations Human Rights Movement all. So once we become the signatory of those kind of things and international bodies are ready to go for same-sex marriage, then why can't India, like this manner, the same BJP government only opposed when it was in 2004 to 14. Now they are giving permission to them. Okay, government is something different. Left or right, the government of India. Okay, once they become opposition only, they will say they are leftist or right. Okay. Yes. Uh, any other question you want to ask before going to? Uh, you have packed everything <coughs> with your Jaguar. Uh, yes, fine. Uh, anyone? Can you explain Naxalism again? Naxalism definition. Uh, please, once again, your voice is break. Sir, Naxalism definition, can you uh, define again? Uh, Naxalism definition, you want to define. Naxalism is nothing. There is no proper definition for Naxalism. For your understanding, only one small two, three lines I have given. But the ideas regarding Naxalism is that the people, those who are aggrieved on the basis of land, okay, initiated their uh, angry and other things inside the place like Naxal body. So from there, a lot of people, you and me and also a kind of Naxalist only in terms of the family problem we are facing. Within a family, we may fight against our parents, uh, or wife, or husband, or teacher, or something. When negative things are happening, someone will rise against those negative things in terms of positiveness. So from Naxalbari village, people want to do something against their money lenders and jamin land, jamindas, etc., against their land rights. So the idea of Naxalbari movement came to exist and originate with the help of a land reform initiatives taken by the Naxalbari village people in the name of Naxalism. So followers of those women later become Naxalites. Sir, then what is the difference between Naxalism and uh, militants? Uh, militants is a common word. 
even pakistan terrorists also will come under militants okay jammu kashmir the, the uh, uh, rohingya some other people isis all people will come under militants but nationalism is having some kind of ideology in order to only liberate themselves from their money lenders or zamindars to get the land right to get the land right they are not they don't want to divide the country they don't want to liberate the country by the way of making kashmir as a separate country lot of things are the militancy want to divide the nation and naxalis want to get their right once they get their right they become normal people for that only land reforms initiative we have to initiate okay okay sir yeah, fine good we'll meet tomorrow thank you all.